What's going on guys, Omar here with you and welcome to week one of the USL Review Show. In today's episode, I'm going to be covering some of the best saves and crosses from the weekend of action and later on I'll be speaking with goalkeeper Jake Fenlison from St. Louis FC in our segment called Between the Ears. Now to start off the show, I want to share with you guys this graphic and share with you guys the amount of goals that were scored over the weekend and how they were scored. As you guys can see, 40% of the goals came from either crosses or cutbacks that fell inside the six and were tapped in or headed in. Now, while 19 of the goals were scored on those cutbacks or crosses out of the 48, some of those were defensive errors and some were goalkeepers not reading the game as well as they could have. But still, I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like for both goalkeepers and goalkeeper coaches, there isn't enough of an emphasis on crosses in trainings. A lot of what we see nowadays is you know the modern techniques, whether that's the, the block save, the spread save, or you know shot stopping from different angles. And myself as a coach, I definitely have fallen to, uh, fallen into that trap per se by doing those very generic drills where in reality, now that we see the stats, there's more goals coming from those crossbacks or situations that we aren't training enough in practice. And so that graphic to me was super important because it kind of reiterated to me what I should be focusing on and what I should be doing more often in my sessions. Now, by sharing that, I really hope that coaches go out to the next session and goalkeepers as well kind of demand it from your coaches and Ask them to have more simulation of crosses where there's actually crowds coming through, whether that be, you know, if you have one goalkeeper or four goalkeepers and one goalkeeper's in, three of them crash, goalkeeper coach serves. Anything you guys can do to try and simulate that as often as we can, because in reality, even when I was with the Galaxy, I saw so many different variety of crosses every single week. And by the time I got to the weekend, nothing really surprised me. So whether it's, you know, coming off the post and working off, you know, hip mobility and getting to the proper spot or getting to a spot and, you know, allowing yourself to use your instincts, whatever the case may be, as long as we can simulate that in training, I think that's the best message I can give you guys from this graphic. Okay, guys, so before we get into it, I wanted to remind you that I posted a video on Tuesday that highlighted all the best distribution, whether that was side volleys, targeted passes, uh, balls in behind, all that stuff, and it's all into a video from weekend one. It's on the channel. Go ahead and check that out before you guys get into this video. Once again, guys, this is the USL Review Week 1. Let's get into it. That's kept in. That's crossed. Settled and a save. Maquette. Great ball. Good ball into the 18. Settled. Save. A two-goal lead. Gets into the box and puts this one to the... Really Forbes. Forbes. Great save. Again, one. Yes. And work and just missed it. Good delivery, punched out by Caldwell. Their first goal to Clough, that's driven. Dwayne McCutt. Trying to hit it good. Hammers it there and a save. Gets it all the way by. Here's a chance on the build up for the bowl. The shot in front, save made by Olsen. Back heel there, receives the ball back. Sean Lewis, is a keeper. Hard driven ball slapped away by Ochoa. Awesome. Malcolm falls on the left hand side, fired in a touch from Bone Steed. So strong that Jackson's gonna send this across. And that's dangerous. And myself. That's a court in once again. Maya. Off slant. Cross perfectly right on frame. Arabian national team are out of San Diego. Through. The young homegrown player one on one now with Dick, and Eric Dick steps up with a huge save. All right, guys, so now that we've covered all the highlights and best saves, I wanted to bring on Jake Fenlison from St. Louis FC to talk about his weekend game and how he got the first start, what were his nerves going into the game, and how he kind of bounced back from one of the goals that was scored on him. Um, again, guys, this segment is called Between the Ears. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, welcome to week one of Between the Ears. We are joined by St. Louis FC goalkeeper Jake Fenlison, who got the nod in goal this weekend and had a great performance. Uh, Jake, how are you doing? I'm doing well. It's nice to be on. Thanks for coming on, man. So uh, you get the nod first game of the year at home against a great team like Indy 11. Uh, what's going on in your head before the game? Uh, I think just it was just anxious to get the season started. Ultimately, I think it was just like the culmination of all the work hard work that you put in in the off season and it's just like the best time to uh to show it off um and ultimately like 
with all the talent they had up front, it was always just going to be a, a big day uh, for the back forward, like to, to deal with them. For sure. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the game started off okay. Um, you know, early in the second half, they get a PK and questionable. I don't, I don't know if it was an actual PK, but they get a PK. And again, it's your first game of the year. And obviously for you have a clean sheet thus far. So what was going on in your head in that moment? Um, at, in the moment, obviously trying to argue with the ref that like it wasn't a foul because our guy won the ball before he took out the guy. Once he makes his decision, it's his decision. And, you know, the game carries on. So you have to get into a state where, you know, you're ready to make a save. And um, as a goalkeeper, you have three choices. You either stay in the middle, you go right, or you go left. And, you know, I decided to, to dive right. And my dive plan was good enough where, I, you know, I – I think I could have gotten to a ball that was hit lower, and I think I could for have sure. gotten to a ball yeah, that was Yeah, so what's hit funny is that higher. I was watching the game, and I'm all excited for you, and then boom, right after you make that PK save, it goes out <laughs> for a corner, they cross it in, and they score off the corner. So um, contrast of emotions, what was going on in your head after that, and how did you keep your composure moving forward? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously it happened right after the, the penalty save. So you're, I was in an emotionally, like, heightened uh, state, um so i think my my decision making was a little off um i probably should have been able to come and claim the ball but uh, my first two steps were forward instead of um waiting or being a little bit more patient uh, especially yeah. with the wind and i think i could have you know i take two steps and then backwards and then i go and attack the ball um but i didn't do that and then uh, even if I don't go and attack the ball, I don't round my, uh, you know, make approach, a round yeah. approach um, and just get back centrally. And I think I might make a, a goal line save instead. You know, I, I don't think I let it affect me as the next two, you know, corners I, I dealt with well and, you know, caught, caught the, the second one and, you know, almost hit our forward for a, for a counterattack. Yeah, I think that was that was for me. You know, obviously, whenever we watch games and, and things like that, we see a goalkeeper. I wouldn't say they make, make a mistake, but I think, you know, in the certain standard, professional standard that you have for yourself as well, it's like, hey, you know what? I probably should have done better than that, especially after the PK save. You kind of want to be able to catch that ball, bring it down, and then kind of celebrate for a little bit and kind of get your your sense all about you. But, um, but no, I, I like the way you responded, and I think that was, that was key and evident with some of the crosses you came and collected clean. Um, so I was, you know, as a fan of yours and a fan of the, uh, the, obviously the league now, I uh, was super happy to see that from you and from the team. Obviously you guys came back and scored two, you know, two unanswered goals to uh, get a two, one victory in the first week. So super excited for you. And, uh, again, um, any advice for the kids out there? Anything, any last words from you? Uh, just keep with it. Everyone has different timing with their, their paths. Um, some kids will make it. Um, big when they're 15 and others won't get you know a good opportunity until they're they're 30 I mean good good examples are you know the kid who just signed with Chicago I mean it's really good signing for him and then another good example on the other end is you know somebody like Tim Melia who's you know stepped into the job at Sporting Kansas City after you know not having played major minutes until he was almost 30. For sure all right, man. Thank you, Jake. I really appreciate you coming on, man. Again, guys, this is uh, week one of Between the Ears. That's Jake Fennelson from St. Louis FC. Jake, best of luck the rest of the year. Thanks, Omar. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Again, I really do appreciate you guys giving me feedback and letting me know what you think of every episode. Um, it's not going to be perfect every time, but with your feedback and just comments, rates, reviews, I will try and make it the best I can every single week. And like I said, as goalkeepers, we have... You know, there's so many different parts of our game that we try to improve. And as a goalkeeper myself and, you know, goalkeeper coach now, I know the amount of work that we all put in to, to kind of improve different facets of our game, like Jake said. And I think that with me doing these shows or doing these reviews, I really want to highlight the distribution, the crossing, the decision making, things that won't make the highlight tape. Because again, these things shouldn't go unnoticed and from this point forward, I'm going to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen ever again. So again, guys, I appreciate you guys watching week one of the USL Review Show. Uh, if you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, just show some love if you can. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I will be back next week with the, uh, the new review show and distribution show as well. Thank you, guys. My name is Omar Zini. I'll see you guys next time. Later.